The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the June 4th. The terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. <clears throat> now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at it. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. And even more important than that, and that's this, during the stack 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. But if you can't call in and you have a question, we've got your back. You can send me an email, send it off, and send that off early to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got mostly a sea of red out there. We've got the Dow down 24, S&P's off 16, NASDAQ's down 46, Russell's down 21, some as are up 56, Trend is up 16 points, gold is off 28 bucks, silver's down a buck, lights recruit off a buck 35, natural gas off 7 cents, 30 Treasury print out at 118.09. Our leader in the clubhouse to the upside is Saya Inc. up 32 bucks, 8%. HubSpot, 13 bucks, 2%. Equinix, 13 bucks, nearly 2%. Old Dominion, Old Dominion Freightway up about 11 bucks or 6% there. To the downside, Mercado Libre, 63 bucks, almost 4%. Lamb Research, 17 bucks, 2%. William Sonoma, $16, 5.5%. Powell Industries, 16 bucks. Ted, 10% and Ask Mill Holdings off 16 bucks, nearly 1 and 7 tenths move to the downside. <clears throat> Where do we want to begin? Well, I'll tell you one thing we can take a look at here, just as long as we're on this set of charts. We take a look at the ES Mini today. What it did is it had a nice little rally, and it formed a TD9 count bottom about 5.30, 6 o'clock this morning out there, and it rallied right up into that perigee pivot point. Perigee is the point in time when the uh, moon is furthest, uh, I'm sorry, closest to Earth uh, during the current lunar phase. That came in Sunday late afternoon. And uh, so we've identified uh, the pivot point here. Pretty much the open of, um, of, of, Mon of Sunday evening was pretty much the close of Friday. So that's a pretty decent, solid pivot point. What did price do? Ran right up into that. So what you want to be watching to the upside, should price move to the upside? Right now we have price testing support. It's a bullish structured 30-minute profile that we're taking a look at in the ISMINI. That buy zone is between 52 75 and 5281 resists up at 5289 but the real resistance level to be watching here is going to be 529850 out there so that's the first thing to pay attention to what's the next thing to pay attention to it's going to be that spot volatility we can see right now it's trading out at 1380 and 1384 is the 50-day exponential moving average. It really matters not where it's trading right now. It matters where it closes the day. If it closes above that 50-day, odds favor that we're going to move lower. That move lower level that you'd be watching for would be the center of its new weekly profile that is attempting to form. And that's at the 5246 level out there. We take a quick peek at the New York Stock Exchange. It's advanced decline oscillator. We had gotten into that oversold condition. Uh, we spoke about that 
last week, right around the end of the month on Thursday and Friday out there. We got down to the minus 150 level. When you get down to that oversold condition area, it needs to work its way off. That's, in fact, what it did. And it did that up until the Friday time frame, May 31st. Price got all the way up, just closed just below that zero threshold line. So when price is below that zero threshold line, I'm just going to give you the generally speaking uh, take on this. It tells you sellers are the ones that are in control. When it's above that level, buyers are in control. So the spot VIX says right now buyers have got the edge. New York Stock Exchange Advanced Client Oscillator, it says that sellers have the edge. Which one is right? Well, maybe we'll know by day's end out there. So that's where we'll first start. Where do we want to go next? Well, let's continue on with the equity futures. Let's go take a look at all four at one time in one window. We'll switch over to Stevie's white background charts out here. And the one thing that we can notice about the ES Mini is that, uh, at least so far, we've got uh, what looks like we have a little series of higher lows out there. Yesterday was higher low. Today so far is a higher low. Now, that would not be the case if we see a tick below 52, 46, 75. We've got that. We've got a sell the D point pattern that is out there. And you've got a profile area. Now, the rally that we saw take place yesterday also ran into resistance at its oscillator and change line. And that number right now is printed out at 5310. Let's call 5311. So on any rally, 5311 ought to hold. We took a look at that Apogee pivot point. I think it's just a point or two below that area. That's what's going on inside the ES Mini. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ has just got a good old-fashioned consolidation with inside its daily profile. It does have a sell the D point pattern. That formed five trading sessions ago out there. But you need to see a close below, really, 18.50860. If you do that, then we're likely going to see a move down towards the 17.719 area out there. In the case of the Dow, the Dow is trading above the top of a new profile. That new profile formed on Friday. The center and the bottom are at the same price. That's at 38.303. That's a strong support level or should be a strong support level. 38,496 uh, is the top of that daily profile. As long as price remains above that, the Dow equity future contract is likely to go target that red oscillator and change line currently printed at 39.018. And finally, we take a look at the Russell 2000. Russell 2000 is trading into a, a swing point that could be the B point of an A to B equals CD to the downside. The way that that would take place is you'd have to get a close below the low of May 30th, and that's at 20.31.20. If you get that, then you've got an A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. Folks, I'm going to take a swig of water here. And that throat is a little bit raw. That's an understatement. And so we may have to do that from time to time during the show. Okay, so that's what's going on, generally speaking, uh, with regard to the daily time frames. We've got a couple of requests that have come in. So let's get to those because we can always come back to the daily equity future contracts, look at the uh, intraday signals. So we've got a number of folks that want to take like, gold, silver, copper, and oil out there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll try not to do that. <coughs> uh, let's go take a look at Goldilocks first. So we're going to take a look at multi-set of charts out here. Monthly chart, by the way, on the left-hand side, we're taking a look at the August contract. It has a sell the D point pattern. It could form a TD9 count top. A bar number eight completed uh, last month in the month of May out there, but it's already got to sell the D point pattern out here. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Goldilocks has a Rhodesman Dominicator indicator top. It also has an old TD9 count top that is still in place out there. Its level of support is at 22.99. So on any move lower, and when I say move lower, I mean right now a close below the bottom of its daily profile, and that would be at 23.42. This is a new profile that's attempting to form. It has already shifted since we've been on the air out there. So we'll take a look at that when we come back to the breaks. We'll take a look at the intraday charts, which are testing prior lows that have significant bottoms. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. 
Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Open Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So the charts uh, for gold are suggesting that it's formed a bottom uh, so far today. The bottom coming in at the bottom of that right now, what is a bullish structured daily profile. So the buy zone inside of silver was be or gold, I should say, is between 2342 and 2356. We get a close above 2356 because of the bullish structured profile. We should see it move up to 2386 out there. If we take a look at that 30-minute time frame chart, it's in the process right now of forming a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. You've got a bullish engulfing candle. It's going to complete here in about 11 minutes. What you'd love to see here on the 30-minute chart is a close above this red oscillator and change line. Currently, 2348 is what we'll call it out there. Because if we get a 30-minute close above that, that's going to suggest that the rally should continue. If we look at the 60-minute time frame chart, I don't really have a, 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 a pattern out there. We're going to take a look at We're going to move over to the 120, the 240, and the 5-hour. And each of those have roads meant to indicator bottoms. The 120-minute chart could actually go on and form a, a TD9 count bottom. Uh, but that's a few hours from now. <coughs> so we won't worry about that. <coughs> but price tested the prior roads meant to indicator bottom that took place at 4 o'clock in the morning. This was yesterday morning, same thing on the 240-minute chart, same thing on the five-hour chart. So odds favor at this stage here, we're at a decent bottom. We have this new profile that is formed, in essence, within the prior profile, kind of suggests to get ready for a consolidation-oriented pattern. We won't have confirmation of the uh, gold uh, profile until uh, this evening at about 6.01. But right now, we use the data uh, that we've got out there. The second request was to take a look at silver. So we'll move over to silver out there. We'll actually go to the detailed silver charts. Just get me a moment. Give me a moment. We'll get over there. Take a look at the monthly on the left. Uh, the monthly actually negated last month a sell the D point pattern. Price closed just above the prior month's bearish shooting star. So no top on the monthly. 
The weekly, however, does have a roadsman to indicator top. And price right now is testing support. The first level of support was the top of the profile, 29.52. The next level of support would be at 28.87. That's the green oscillator and change line. So a top, but support holding. So we're going to call this neutral. If we take a look at the daily time frame chart, Roadsman Dominicator top price right now getting back inside its profile. All it needs to do that is close below 3046 today. If it does that, you could see move down to the bottom of the profile at 2864. Light gold, we've got some Roadsman Dominicator bottom signals, one on the 30 minute time frame. That's attempting to form right now. Uh, we've got another that's, uh, well, we've got a little bit of while, uh, work to do on the 60-minute chart out there. So it's just the 30-minute chart to watch for. So what you're looking for here in silver from an interday perspective is a close above that red oscillator and change line on a 30-minute time frame. Call it 29, 80, 81, 82, something along those lines out there. So that's what's going on with regard to silver. The question was, can I identify any kind of a bottom? It's a bit easier on gold because we've got that daily, daily profile. Here we're in between profile levels, but we do have a couple bottom patterns. I'd watch that 30-minute time frame chart for silver. That would be the one that would give you the uh, what its in real intentions are out there. Uh, the next request was to take a look at high-grade copper. So we'll close out these charts. It's going to go back to that other one that it defaults to. But in a moment, we'll switch over to the high-grade copper charts. Give me a moment. Out here and high grade copper popping up. So here on a weekly, a monthly time frame, you don't have any kind of a top out there. On a weekly time frame, you have a sell the D point pattern. The price is testing a key level of support. That's at green. Oscillator and change on a 457. A close on a weekly base below 457 would bring the 440 level into play. In the case of copper on a daily time frame, it has a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. We just down to about 445. However, today is going to be bar number nine of a TD9 count. And that's getting a TD9 count. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, I was just getting ready to hit the sneeze button. Looks like that was a false alarm. Thank goodness. Okay, daily time frame. We're going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count bottom today above its breakout level support at 450. And that's a bullish signal. Now, that pattern won't really complete until tomorrow. So tomorrow could be a lower low. That breakout level is at 450.05. So if you're asking the question, do we have any kind of signal of a daily bottom inside of uh, high-grade copper? The answer is absolutely. And then we're going to get that bottom at the same time on a weekly basis, price testing that oscillator and change. No, when we get those bottom signals, we look for intraday charts to confirm that. And those haven't built just yet. So, for example, the two-hour chart, current candle is going to complete at, I think it should be 12 noon, but let me just make sure, 12 noon. Right now, it's a bullish piercing candle. That means it just has to close inside the middle or higher of the prior bar to complete that signal. So that would be the first signal out there, the two-hour chart, to help us to identify some kind of a, a bottom out there. But you'd like to see more than that, and you'd like to see some areas of resistance fail. So this could be signaling to us that the real bottom doesn't come until tomorrow when that TD9 count pattern uh, completes out there. So that's what we have going on there. The final request was to take, well, actually, we've got two as long as we're doing this here. There's a request to take a look at both oil, light sweet crude, and platinum. We'll get to light sweet crude first. <clears throat> okay, we take a look at Light Sweet Crew. We're in the July contract. You've got a monthly Roadsman Dominicator top with a consolidation with inside its profiles. The next level of support for Light Sweet Crew is $70.11. We have an A to B equals CD pattern on the downside on the weekly time frame. Its price objective is right around the 71 ish area out there. Uh, we've got a pretty strong move off that uh, C uh, point out here, so we could do more than a one-to-one -one expansion of that A to B equals CD. The one, above, below the one-to-one -one would probably get us to 66.72. The daily time frame, let me open this up here. The daily time frame, we've got a couple different A to B equals CD patterns that we could draw in there. The conservative one which says that we've already, yesterday we went ahead and closed below that bull sash candle. That was the conservative one. I'll show you what the conservative one looks like. The smaller one, I guess, is what I should say. There's your A to B point. We'll go ahead and move that over to that uh, C point out there. And you can see it completed a bullish engulfing back here. Let me get my cursor, tell you which day that was. That was a bullish engulfing candle back on May 8th. There was another one that formed out here 
on May 24th. Both of those gave way yesterday, and that sets up that larger A to B equals C to pattern to the downside we looked at on the weekly time frame. But this smaller one that's in place out here is still in play. So if you were to see a bullish reversal candle, you'd want to see what's going on inside those intraday charts, just like we initially did here with high-grade copper, sort of like what, you know, what we did with regard to Goldilocks. Really, the patterns are the same. Now, on a five-hour time frame chart here for Lake Street Crude, you are going to go, you've already completed a TD9 count bottom. So, the cool thing about that is if Lightspeed Crude's real intention is to do that larger A to B equals CD pattern, then you're going to see a close blow this TD9 count bottom. That low out there, let's move this way, that low is at 60, sorry, the low is 7248. So jot that down in your pad of paper, 7248. That's courtesy of the TD9 count bottom on the five-hour time frame chart. So what we should see here at least is a counter trend move. The counter trend move should take us up to its oscillator and change line. That's currently printed the 7470 level out there. Uh, you've got a road momentum indicator bottom on the 30-minute time frame chart. Price run into the first level of resistance. That's its breakdown level. So if price can close above 73.65. That's what we ran into during this 30-minute session right out there. Price should then run to 74.11. If you get above 74.11, then lights be crude once and continue to move higher. And at 74.11, we get back to that 74.71 area. So that's going to be the key level with regard to lights be crude. That's coming from your five-hour time frame chart. As you take a look at this oscillator and change line, you can see it has acted as resistance <coughs> for quite some time. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tiger's Den trading room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs.
Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our first caller. It is Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? To, how are you this morning? Oh, I'm doing just great, Stephen. How are you? Doing fine. Thanks so much for asking. Walgreens Boots WBA is the uh, ticker symbol that I believe that you're calling about. My guess is you're eyeing the TD nine count uh, uh, pattern on the uh, weekly time frame. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you. We had looked at this before. For some reason, I was thinking it was further back, but it must have been back in April. I remember it being around 17, 18. I think it had been an earnings report or something where it had a bit of a downturn. And I mean, it's already been in a downtrend for a long time. But Yes, it um, has. I thought when you went back, you had to go back pretty darn far, too. I think it's all the way back to like 97, 98. It got back to a low from that period. But it was something around in the 14s, and that's what it got down to. Just maybe look at that and just what else you might come up with what I'd appreciate. Sure, sure. So first, let us let me change charts, and we'll go take a look at Walgreens Boots out here and uh, put up its charts. And we're going to see – so this is the monthly time frame chart out here that we're taking a look at. And as far as its lows, boy, you know, this takes us back a long way. We can go back on this chart here to 1968 or so, and it was just about $3. But I think it's possible that one of the areas that we were looking at, Brent, might have been the swing points. Now, this would be in the October of 2008 area. And those were down in the 21 level, and we're trading below those areas out here. So you were thinking it might be around a $14 level? Was that what, you, what, that what I heard? Or? I, I thought there was, that's what I recall, but I could be wrong. Very that's wrong. okay. That's okay. Let's let's do this though. Here, as long as we're on this this set of charts, let me make sure I switched over. I did okay. And uh, let's take a look at the 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 largest potential A to B equals C D pattern to the downside. So let's draw that in. Very easy to identify where the A point is. It's going to be the high. Well, let me make sure eight ninety seven twenty seven. Yeah, it's going to be the high actually from the month of uh, August of two thousand fifteen. So when Brent said it's been a downtrend, it's been in a downtrend since August of two thousand fifteen. Now there's a number of different A to B equals CD patterns out here. But if we take the largest one that we see, our B point would actually be in October of 2020. So let's get to put that in there. And then the C point is a rally that took us up into April of 2021. Now that B point had volume of 147 million shares. It was passed once with 156. Well, right there, you've got it. So you have a confirmed monthly A to B equals CD pattern to the downside. And that would get us to well, shoot, that would get us to minus six dollars and eighty nine cents. So I don't think that one's going to help you out a whole lot. Sorry about sorry about <laughs> taking you through that effort just to find out that that gets to a minus uh, six dollars and eighty nine cents. So I would say they're going out of business. Let's just see here. What do we have on a weekly chart? And not much else out here to help us. So we're going to move away from these charts and let's just go take what's going on on a monthly, a weekly and a daily time frame on mother charts. Is that OK with you? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so let's go see if we can find some patterns out here, um, because A to B's, as we've just seen, will get us down to they're going out of business, and I don't know that they're going to do that. So that takes us back now to the weekly TD nine count bottom. Now, on a, because we saw those A to B equals CD patterns, folks, the downside on a weekly and on a monthly, I guarantee you, there's an A to B equals CD pattern in a daily time frame. So on a daily time frame. Walgreens Boots confirmed a buy the D point pattern on May 30th. So far, that has led to a rally with inside its bullish or bearish structured daily profile. So on a rally, on a further rally, what Walgreens Boots is going to do, it's going to run into, it did this a couple of days ago, ran right up into that sell zone. And the sell zone, Brent, is between 1640 and 1675. If price could close above 1675, well, that would be nice for the weekly TD9 count 
uh, bottom pattern because you'd be back above its oscillator and change line. And that would then suggest a rally up in the 1761-1811 area. It's that 1811 area, should Walgreens boots rally, that would be the critical uh, level that a price would need to close above because that's where a counter trend move would find resistance, 1811. It could at 1761, but 1811 would be the ultimate resistance level for Walgreens boots. The monthly time frame chart does have a roads momentum indicator signal that is triggered out there. And that's going to require some type of bullish reversal candle. We don't have that. From a wave count standpoint, we're in either F, or so 6 or 2 would be the two waves. So we don't have a bottom signal there. So you've got a bottom on the daily. You definitely have a bottom on the weekly chart out there. What say you, Brent? Oh, I just I really like your charting, and it's just visually it helps a lot to see them displayed the way you put them up, and it just gives me more information, which is always helpful. Yeah, so I think what I would be looking here, I'll put this chart. So I'm going to take a look at two more charts to assist Brent out. The first is going to be the weekly dance steps, weekly uh, daily daily dance steps out here. So here, what these numbers are showing us, folks, are consecutive moves to the downside. Those would be in red. Consecutive moves to the upside. Now we can see that since the most recent high out here takes back to December of 2023, all rallies have been two or three bar moves. There was one four bar move that was back here on April the 9th. And so, and we had a two bar rally two days ago. Now we have one bar to the downside. Don't know what today will be. If we've really started a bullish trend, Brent, we'd only see one or two bars to the downside out there. So I'd also, consecutive moves, I'd watch those dance steps as well. So I'd like a look at that. And then uh, let's see what this seasonally does. So with regard to Walgreens boots, we have data that takes us back 39 years. And in that 39-year period, it says that right now we are in a bit of a rally mode or should be in a – oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to take this. Sometimes this does that. I'm going to switch panels. So I'm going to put this up on – oh, geez, that did it too. Yikes. Yikes. Okay. Well, Brent, sorry about that. Well, what happens sometimes is somehow interferes with the uh, – very weird – interferes with the uh, – with my system and – Blanks out all the charts, so I've got to close that. But what I did see for a very brief moment is that we are in a bit of a uh, a bit of a what could be a rally mode. So it's really supporting the seasonal pattern is supporting what you and I have taken a look at on the daily and the weekly time frame. What we don't know is how price is going to deal with resistance. Right now, we know the daily time frame it hasn't handled resistance well, but it's not trading below support. So I hope that that didn't confuse the heck out of you. But uh, <laughs> no, not at all, Steve. OK, OK, good, good. So I, I'd watch the daily bars out there because you've got the bottom. You're in this favorable seasonal time frame. I don't know if it's worth taking a short term trade for you. But the data is, you know, I provided with the information that I have. Is there anything else? That I, and I wish I could have given you that that uh, seasonal pattern chart out there. Um, I'll, I'll try to do something tomorrow. Try to see if I can uh, fake out the system by having a PDF of it or something like that. So. So that's what no, I've got, my friend. It, no, no, it's yeah. great. I, I, do, I do like it. I had a little bit of a sign of strength, you know, on the daily that, that uh, you know, off the bottom there, which isn't looking too bad. And now it's coming back and testing the OUL. So I'll just, yeah, I'll keep an eye on it, see what it can do. Sounds great. Hey, Brent, always good to speak to you. Thanks so much for calling. Have a terrific Tuesday, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We'll be right back. Thanks. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Keckstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits.
the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go to our next request. This is from... Um from G-Man inside the Tiger's Den, would like to take a look at Apple. So what we've got on Apple is no top on the daily time frame uh, just yet. It negated that top uh, yesterday when price closed above the high of May 22nd. That was a sell the D point pattern. Now what we need is a, a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes momentum indicator top. However, on the daily time frame, we have uh, triggered wave number seven coming off of that bottom back here on April 19th. In order to confirm that pattern, you need to see a lower high. If you get that, you're then going to need to see a close below 192.97. That would take us back to the next level of support, which would be between 189.17 and 190. 110. If Apple were to close below 189.17, G-Man, that's where a counter trend move to the downside would find support. That would tell us there's something else going on. But right now, you've got that wave seven top. So keep an eye on that come tomorrow. Because if you have a lower high, that would pattern would be confirmed. But also keep track of what's going on with regard to profiles and that oscillator change line. Weekly time frame, no top in place. Price is trading into a prior swing point. That swing point takes us back to December 15th. 379 million shares on a weekly basis. Last week was a short week, 230 million. You know, today so far we're at 63, so it's too early to say. Monthly time frame, things are bullish, but price is trading into its sell zone. The sell zone runs from 186.85 to 198.23. So Apple at this stage here, it looks pretty good. It's just that wave seven top that you've got to uh, keep an eye on. So I hope that helps you out. Dan wanted to take a look at VFC. So if we take a look at VFC, what do we know? We know that this has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom. That was confirmed back here on the trading day of May 30th. Price closed above the top of its bullish structure daily profile three days ago. So from a daily standpoint, Dan, this is in a uh, bullish breakout mode with price wanting to target 16.15. That's its TD9 count breakdown level. However, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you'll have a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom that was confirmed. Now here you've got a sell zone. So even though I gave you 1615, and that's a number that is a true number out there because it's a number uh, and that's a target, but what you're gonna get is a sell zone. That sell zone should be a bit choppy for you, 1456 to 1589. Monthly time frame chart, no bottom there, so there's not any now price at least is above the asset and change line. So VFC should continue to rally. Just know you're gonna get into a uh, 
a bit of a choppy period in that uh, 1456, 1589 level out there. Now, today it's moving lower out there. Is that a problem? Not really. Just in the normal dance steps, what we had was three days to the upside. Now, what we likely would get is one to two bars to the downside. As long as it's less than four, I should say less than five, everything should be okay with regard to that bottom. Wouldn't be surprised to see a two-day pullback, and then you could fire away again. That's your typical move to the downside. Back, we've seen that out here. Um for really the last uh, couple of weeks out there is two bars to the downside. So that's what I would be looking at with regard to VFC out there. Let's go to our next request. Next request is for is for BCD. This is for Todd, who's listening on our e-signal data feed out there. So that's very cool. Uh, Todd, do you want to take like a ticker symbol BCD out here? So BCD is very likely going to go target. It's got a Rhodesman indicator top. Price is trading below profile support. Closed below it yesterday, which was 3286. It's going to go target 3249. Now 3249 is where price broke out from. That can be a bottom. I don't have a bottom pattern, but that can be a bottom in and of itself. We take a look at the weekly time frame chart. Weekly time frame chart, I don't see a top out there, uh, but price is back inside its profile. And the bottom of that profile is at 3227. So we got 3227, 3249, oscillator and change on the weekly at 3236. That's really your range, 3227 to 3249. The price were to close below 3270. 3227 then you got some problems now the problems are really what are showing up on the monthly time frame chart now when i say problems i'm just referring to the fact that rallies have stalled at the oscillator and change line ever since august of 2022 and you can see we rallied up into it last month um and so that's really a key level out there i believe you were taking a look at this chart from a well i can't recall uh, but if you're looking at this from a longer term standpoint, you really want to see a close on a monthly basis above that level. That's currently at 3318, but I don't know what that number is going to be at the end of June. Um, so first, we should see this thing move lower. You'd want to see some intraday patterns to suggest that that might be a good viable bottom for you. Your next request was to take a look at DBB out here. So let's pull that up and see what's inside there. So these are ETFs, I believe. I don't know what their holdings are. So certainly that's one of the things that you want to take a look at. Um, base metals, I believe, is DBBB. And as we can see right now, this has an A to B equal CD pattern to the downside. If you were to get a bullish reversal candle, then that would confirm a currently buy pattern. Now, today's candle right now shows up as really two types of candles, right? It shows up as a gap to the downside, and it shows up as a bullish hammer candle. So if this does form a bullish hammer candle at day's end, is that a buy? Well, it's a cautious buy. Why would it be a cautious buy? And I'd say cautious to no. Why would you say cautious to no? Because you still need to fill in this gap out there. Not that price needs to fill the gap, but I would fill in the cap to see in the in the gap or cap, whichever you prefer out there, to see if this still retains its bullish and its hammer candle status. And it would not. So you've got that gap to the downside which is a bearish signal, potentially a bullish hammer candle, I don't know that that would be the top for me. That's I really have to go down and dig in those intraday charts out there and see all of them, for the most part, shows that that is really a buy area. Now, there is the potential that it is. Gee, Stevie, you're confusing me. That cold medicine you must be taking, it must be going to your head. I sure hope it goes to my head, but mostly to my throat. 2051 is the level where a counter trend move to the downside would find support. What we've seen so far today is the low today is at 2053. Now, are we going to fuss about two pennies out there? I'm not going to fuss about two pennies. So there's a possibility that we've got a bottom signal because that's where a counter trend rally would end. Now, your price closed below 2051. That call is off the table. Now it should just move back towards 1992. So let's take a quick peek at a couple of intraday charts out here. Now, the 30 minute chart, we start with a Rhodes Momentum indicator. Oh, jeez. Stevie deleted that. Nice. That's the second time I've done that today. Well, there you go with that head cold. Let's see. We can put a uh, new chart. Lordy, what do we got here? D, B, B, B. Let's get this to. Sorry, I'm doing this off the screen here, folks, but I've got to. Minute chart. Let's make this a 30-minute chart out there. I just got to decorate this thing. Let's give it 30 days worth of data. And let me get the actual chart itself. 
going uh, for us. Where is my all 30? All minute 30. Okay. So in a moment here, I'll be able to pull that chart back over. We can see what's going on there. Before I deleted it, it was showing us a Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom that had formed. But price was also struggling at its oscillator and change line. Let me just shrink this down just a tad out there. So now on a 30-minute time frame, here's that Rhodes Mentum indicator bottom, but price not being able to clear that oscillator and change line. So that's the first area you'd need to see a close above. You got the profile level up top, which is a bearish signal. Yeah, I'm going to see, be, see, say be patient on this right now uh, with regard to that bottom signal that we're looking at on the daily time frame. Maybe what we do is come back to this on Thursday to see uh, what eventually happened out there. So that's DBB, Todd. I hope that that helps you out. We've got to request to take a look at uh, ZR. Oh, boy, we've got a number of requests out there. I'll see what I can squeeze in as we come to the close out here. Be right back. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at Bristol Myers Squibb, ticker symbol BMY out there. It is trading above the top of its daily profile, close above it yesterday. A second close above this level here, Johnny, that's at 41.67, which suggests a rally up to at least 43.08. 
4308 is the uh, weekly oscillator and change line. It's going to go ahead and complete at least a TD9 count bottom pattern this week out there. So price should rally up towards that level. The monthly chart looks pretty weak out there, but right now I'd say it's a daily and the weekly charts that are ones that are in control. So your next rally level should be around the 4309 level. And best of luck to you with that trade. Next question is uh, about take a look at ARWR for Bob and Spokane. Trade above the top of its daily profile. It's really a sideways consolidation. You can see that on the daily. You can clearly see the sideways consolidation on the monthly time frame chart and price right now is dealing with the uh, top of its uh, weekly profile in the 2491 area out there so just a sideways consolidation you can measure it up if price does break through that consolidation then you'd have a measured move on the weekly chart to the upside that would suggest moving towards the uh, 3069 level the daily time frame you'd have resistance at 2742 let's take a look at the gdx for hector and Mary Jo. So yes, you've got a uh, confirmed, we're likely going to get a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the downside on the daily time frame for the GDX. Why is that? Because the swing point out here, which is a swing point from May 23rd, has volume there of 32 million so far for the day. We're at 14 million shares. So you're going to have the volume. The one to one would give you a price projection of 33.42. Well, 33.74, is a TD9 count breakout level on the daily time frame, but you're sitting at support on the weekly, and that's really the key that price needs to close below in order for any of that daily stuff to come to fruition. So watch the 34.15 level. Why is that important? Because we saw gold hold support, the bottom of its daily profile, and a number of intraday signals out there, and the GDX has got a directional correlation. So you got to kind of put it together that way, both uh, Hector and Mary Jo. So uh, the only thing I didn't get to was ZROZ. -Z. Let me see if I can even put this up on the screen real quickly here. And then we will, oh, I didn't get the platinum. So tomorrow we come back. Platinum, by the way, is trading into its uh, bullish structured profile support area. But we'll take a look at platinum tomorrow and we'll take a look at the ZROZ -Z that we didn't get to today. Folks, have a terrific Tuesday and I'll look forward to seeing you maybe with an even better voice on Wonderful Wednesday. Take care. Be safe out there. Have a great day.